Hello and welcome to PHP and MySQL projects. In this course we'll be building 10 projects using PHP, MySQL, as well as some other technologies. Um, we'll use both custom PHP and we'll uh, dabble in frameworks as well. So what should you know? Um, of course you need to know HTML and CSS. Um, I'm guessing if you are watching a PHP tutorial then you already know at least basic HTML. JavaScript, um, although it's not required that you know JavaScript, uh, it would really help you out, especially Ajax and jQuery, um, because we'll be using Ajax to, in a few projects, to submit to the database, to retrieve from the database, things like that. You should know PHP basics, or actually programming basics in general, things like variables, uh, conditional statements, loops, arrays, um, associative arrays or hashes, things like that uh, will really help you out. Object-oriented programming, um, you don't need to really have a lot of experience with, um, but many of our projects will use object-oriented programming. Um, we'll also have a couple of procedural uh, based applications as well, but um, object oriented is really the uh, cleaner, um, better way to go when you're creating PHP projects. MySQL or any kind of uh, relational SQL database will really help you out. Um, we'll be dealing strictly with MySQL um, for these 10 projects. We'll do everything from simple select statements to um, joins with multiple tables, PDO, um, the MySQLi API. So we'll be dealing a lot with MySQL. And the technology and concepts that we will look at are basic procedural PHP, um, of course object-oriented programming using libraries and classes. Um, so restricting an object to a class um, with different properties and methods. Um, MySQLi and PDO APIs. So we'll be using PDO quite a bit with um, prepared statements. Design patterns. Um, a lot of the, the frameworks, the PHP frameworks that we'll be using are model view controller frameworks. So basically we're going to separate the logic from the display or the view. Um, and we'll be creating projects with custom PHP as well as um, PHP frameworks like CodeIgniter and CakePHP. So let's quickly go through the projects. Uh, projects one through five. Uh, the first one we have is going to be a Shout It Shout box. So basically, it's going to be a procedural PHP script. Um, we're not going to get crazy with structure on this. It'll just basically be uh, a couple of separate files. No classes, um, no object-oriented program, no nothing like that. It's basically an introduction project. Um, then we'll move on to PHP Quizzer, uh, which will be a little more uh, advanced. It's going to allow you to uh, take a short quiz, and uh, there'll be multiple choice. And we'll also have uh, a page where you can actually add uh, quiz questions and answers to the quiz. And at the end it'll tally your score and display it to you. Next we'll have uh, a blog written in PHP. Uh, it'll be totally custom, no frameworks or anything like that. And we'll also create a simple custom database library or class. Alright, so this will be our real first look at object-oriented programming. It will have an area where you can go and add posts, uh, add categories, things like that. And we'll be using the Bootstrap HTML framework on this project as well. Talking space, um, project number four will also be using Bootstrap. And this, the structure in this project is gonna be pretty advanced. Um, it's basically gonna be kind of like a custom framework we're going to have libraries, we'll have a database wrapper class, and we'll have um, classes for topics, users, things like that. Um, we'll implement a full registration and login system, um, and also 
users can log in and um, post topics in certain categories um, so it'll be pretty advanced but not so much where you won't know what's going on okay next project number five we'll take a look at e-commerce um, it's going to be a pretty simple shopping cart called the gaming place which will sell video games and this will be a code igniter application we'll be using the code igniter framework um, and we'll also be implementing the PayPal API so users will be able to um, register sign in and purchase a product through PayPal and when you when they buy something and they log into their PayPal account they'll be able to see each separate product it won't be just one clumped price um, it'll actually separate the products and we'll use the PayPal Express API on that alright so next we're gonna uh, look into building a WordPress widget a plugin which is also a widget and it's going to be a basic contact form that you can put in any widget position in a WordPress template. We'll create a class, a widget class, so we'll be dealing with object-oriented programming and we'll allow the user to have some back-end options such as uh, the recipient email address and the subject of the email. Project number seven, um, we're going to build an, an address book um, of course written in PHP but we're also going to implement uh, Ajax to load contacts and to um, quickly add them uh, without refreshing the page and we're going to take a look at and use the foundation framework uh, which is an HTML5 CSS framework much like bootstrap and we'll be able to add contacts edit them delete them things like that uh, project 8 will be, uh, it's going to be quite a large project. It's going to be a job board called Job Finds, and it's going to use the Cake PHP framework, which is pretty similar to Code Igniter. It's an MVC framework. Um, we'll create our controllers, models, views, and users will be able to um, register, log in, and add a job and we're also going to use the kickstart html5 framework for the user interface number nine will be a content management system called cool cms um, it's going to use bootstrap for its ui and um, we're going to use code igniter again so it'll be our second code igniter project and basically we'll be building the front end which will be very simple uh, and we'll be building the back end where we can log in we can create categories, articles, we can add users, and we can even add user groups. And we'll also have some settings as well. So this will be quite a big project. And number 10 will be um, a, a lighter project. We're gonna build a WordPress plugin. It's gonna be a bridge plugin for the Gaming Place application that we created um, back a couple projects ago. All right, so we want to be able to display our products from the gaming place in our WordPress website. Um, and we'll be able to do that using a short code. And you can place that anywhere in the site that you want, and that will show the products. So that's the course in a nutshell. Um, I hope you learn a lot, and I look forward to building some really great applications.